What is up guys, this is Justin, AKA FMDG. I'm here with an experiment video. Um, I mentioned in my previous American Hitchhiker video that I made this, but this, um, done a little bit of stuff. I've kind of demolished Manchester United and got them in the Vanorama National League North. Um, and now we're gonna see how they progress over years versus a team in the same kind of caliber with them in the Vanorama National League North. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, the year is 2027. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap of what I've done here. But Manchester United have just been relegated from the Vanarama National League to the Vanarama National League North. Um, I went into the editor, did horrible things to them, um, got rid of all their money, all the players. In fact, let's go in here and look at their... I don't think it actually is going to show me the transfer history. It might. Um, it was actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. No, it doesn't show me any of that. Because I did it in the editor, it's not going to show me anything. Okay. Anyhow, what I did is I went into the editor, uh, pregame editor, and removed players, their coaches, um, anyone I could, left them with the same facilities, but gutted them financially. Um, so if we look here in the landmarks, you can see here, went through some captains, got relegated the first season, relegated again. Um, Glazer left, which would make many people happy. You can see all of these things that happened. Uh, let's go into the competition screen and see what happened. So the first season, <laughs> I did horrible things. Um, you know, they played with a youth squad. They didn't have any money. Um, so you can see what happened. Uh, this was actually very difficult to get them out of the Vanarama National League. Um, I had to take away a lot of money very quickly. I mean, they gave up 225 goals last season. But this is going to be a hard one. Um, I'm actually going to link this save file down below. Um, so you guys can play with it if you want. Um, if you don't, that's cool. I'm no skin. Um, but yeah, it was a fun little idea I had one day. So figured just go with it. But yeah, we had a few straight relegations. Um, you know, all sorts of turnover with uh, coaches. Coaches. Why? That. That's odd. That's really odd. Um, who's their coach now? don't have a coach okay anyhow but what I wanted to do um, let's go to their facilities you can see they have top corporate facilities bad training bad data analysis superb youth facilities great Academy coaching um, youth recruitment that's all I didn't touch that stuff but um, I did leave the editor in on this game just so we can kind of see the financial side of this um, they don't have much money, just over 600,000, a little bit of transfer and payroll, professional club still. I didn't edit any of this stuff, so that's why it's all still there. Um, much, I think their affiliations, they've got some, uh, still these affiliations there, but haven't, you know, like I said, haven't touched anything with that. But I did want to see how they would get on, whoops. Um, Against, I'm kind of racing them against uh, St. Albans here because, as shown here in the season preview, St. Albans is picked to finish seventh, so they're just above Man U. So, yeah, just kind of curious to see how this went. I think I went 40 years altogether, but yeah, let's um, see where they are after one season. All right, guys, welcome back. It is one year in the future, 2028. Um, Let's see how they've gotten on. Uh, this work? No. I'm gonna have to go here and then go here. Spoiler alert. Okay. Um. Let's see how they did. 
Oh, I just could not find them. Okay, one year in, Man U finished in fourth place. St. Albans finished in 70th place. Granted, uh, also, I did nothing to St. Albans. Um, I just happened to pick them because they were kind of right around the same here as um, in the in the preview or in the season preview going in. So I kind of thought, no, let's pick them. I haven't touched them, haven't done anything with them. I'm not really going to focus on them, just kind of see how Man U does. I just kind of like the... Uh, you know, since they're just as bad of a club. So United has gone down. We have... Oh, I know why they don't have a coach. Um, hold on, I think I do. I think I made him unfireable and then let him go. It is, I Honestly, never mind. I can't remember. Um, yeah, Danny Wright is their new coach. And he has been coach at Ebsfleet. Uh, let's look at their transfers. Most of these are going to be regions regardless. Um, so yeah, there's not Hesketh. I know that name, but that's a region. Emil Hesketh what I'm thinking of. Um, I'm not going to know a lot of things here. Look and see how they did last season. FA Cup second round, fourth qualifying round. Went to the first round of the FA Cup against Northampton. Who's in League One? So not bad. I mean, they took him to a replay, so they made some money off of that away gate. Also made some money on the home one. Look at that, 72,000 people showing up there. Interesting. A trophy second round loss to Billericke. Um, Went to the playoffs and lost to Kings Lynn in the semifinals. That sucks. Too bad for them. Um, yeah, let's see how they are financially. They made a little bit of money. Good. But a transfer budget, too. That's nuts. I mean, to go there. So looking here, they've got a little bit over their wage budget, got a decent balance, um, made some money. Um, so, yeah, I mean, check out some of the players they have. I did not do that the first time through. Um, I think there's a better screen than I can pick here. Do this one value. See how their players, the best player they have in terms of value has been Lucas. Um, I don't have stats on him. I forgot to turn on the attribute masking or turn that off. I forget which one that is. Um, go here. We can see not, not bad. He's got good first touch, good balance. Um, you know, someone this level, great teamwork. Um, not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, was he 18 years old? So not a bad person to um, make a team around. He had 43 appearances, five goals, 13 assists, four player of the match. Not bad. Um, I want to see if there's a better screen than this. Hmm, don't have one. Uh, Matt Montgomery. Of course, it's not going to show me. You know, let me just go back to the value. Um, Montgomery is 18 years old as well. Scottish international. Um, don't even know what position he plays. Forward. Oh, striker. Uh, he had decent last year. 44 appearances, 17 goals, just under a 7 rating. Not bad, not bad. He's you know coming up through their youth system. Um, but yeah, they didn't make it out of the uh, Vanarama National League North that first season. Let's see the preview this season. They are picked to finish second. Um, in Albans, in Albans. They get moved. Pretty weird. They did, they got moved to the National League South. Okay, but... We're right around the same place they were last season. Okay, let's go to season two. Oh, I mentioned I did 40 years. I didn't. That was a lie. I did 20 years. I did two, five, 10, 15, 20 year increments. Um, so let's get in year two and see where they are. All right, guys, two years in, it looks like we're still in the National League North. Um, we are Montgomery still captain. Danny Wright still the goalie or the um, goalie coach. 
Uh, wage budget is a little bit higher. They have a lot less left in the bank. There, make sure this all says the same. Yeah, so they did something in this last season. History. They got rid of Lucas, Morrison, and best of luck. Just trying to say that one. But uh, let's see how they did this last season. Finished in second place, but lost in the playoffs. Are you kidding? Oh, if they lose to Salford, that'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Oops. So let's see. Uh, one in the FA Cup, second qualifier round, third, fourth qualifier round. Made to the first round against Morecambe. I have no idea how to say that. Lost in the replay. That's two years in a row. Lost in the first round replay. Uh, trophy, they won in the third qualifying round. First round, they won. Uh, second round, they won against FC United and Manchester. That's an interesting little uh, derby. Third round, they beat Boston United. Fourth round, they beat Havant and uh, Waterlooville. I thought it was a different name. Oh, no, they lost. Sorry. I can't, I can't do these things. I mean, they had a really good season. Ended it poorly. They lost to Salford. Uh, drew against Bradford. Lost to Gateshead. And then lost in the semis to Harrogate. 54,000 came to see that one. 3 1 loss. They didn't get their 10 minutes. I was over. Um, let's see how St. Albans did. They're not in this league. St. Albans, still in National League South. Um, they get on. So, yeah. 17th, 8th. Nothing too crazy. Let's see where they are picked to finish. Manu. Again, picked to finish second. It's a mighty boss United. It's so weird to see a team like this not be able to advance, not be able to do what they want to do. Um, and look at some players, some of the values. 41,000. Connor Sargent. Um, midfielder. How's he doing? Decent. Did really well for them last season. Um, Van Ramen North. Uh, 10 goals, 10 assists, 4 Man of the Match awards. 7 1 5. Not bad. Um, see anything happen? Landmarky ish. The captain. Haven't done too much in here. Um, whoops. I mean, I click that. Um, just so you guys can know, um, actually I'll do that later. Um, I was going to kind of look and see what else happens in the world, but we can do that follow up kind of at the very end. But, uh, yeah, let's go now five years into the future, kind of skip through a little bit, see if, we, if these guys can make their way up. All right, guys, back five years in, um, I happen to actually click on the inbox and these jobs they want me to apply for Portsmouth. Wow. Okay. Um, Anyhow, let's get into here. See how our boys are. Man United. Again, five years in. Looks like we made it to League Two. Nice. Danny Wright, still the coach. Um, new players up in here that we haven't seen before. Um, got a loss in the payroll. We're actually spending less than we did in the end of Season Two, which is interesting. Um, value of the club, $65 million. I didn't look at that before. Uh, let's go competition wise. So we left off here. They finished second their first year. Then they won Vanarama North. Instant promotion, Vanarama National. Instant promotion finished eighth last season in League Two. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's see, where did we leave off here? Montgomery was captain now. Kevin, captain. So youth category got raised up. Promotion, captains moving around. Um, Let's look at some schedules. Hey, what did I do? Why well, broke something here? Okay. Uh, I don't think we saw this one. So went to the lost crew in the first round of the FA Cup. Made it first round. Hereford in the trophy went out that season. This was the one. Didn't, uh, I think this that was the yeah promotion out of the Manorama North in the National League. I mean, look at that. 
playing Bayern Munich at home. Only lost 3-0. Not bad. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, started the season off two straight losses. Um, not looking good, but then went on a tear. They cut fourth qualifying round wins. Lose to Merther in the FA Cup first round in the Fat Cup, as Lujo calls it. FA Trophy win in the first round, the second round, third round, fourth round. Wow, losing the semis to Kings Lynn. Kings Lynn. Um, but we ended up doing enough to get promoted to that season. So Skybet League 2, where we are in, this is the most previous season, not the best of starts. Carabao Cup going out to Barnsley in the first round. Uh, Acing.com trophy. Win, loss, win, loss, FA Cup. So went out in the FA Cup to South End, second round. Acing Com went out. Nothing, nothing but a bunch. That was a bad ring there. Four points in what, almost two months? Not good. Um, Here's the season now. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, this was five years in. Um, let's also look at St. Albans. I knew I wasn't going to do the St. right. I think I did that right. Don't think I did that right. Okay. Let's do this. Let's find them this way. St. Albans. That was weird. I think I spelled them wrong. Oh, city, that's why. I picked the wrong one. Uh, let's see their history. So they've stuck in the north-south, bumping around in there. Can't really do much. Fourth place last year in the north. Um, interesting to see. Interesting to see. Um, back. City, or city, whew, United. Um, got some better players for sure. Lewis Collins, striker, been scoring some goals. That's good. Oh man, 17 goals. Eagle, did ball for Leighton Orient, came down, played for them. They spent money on this kid. Um, their history, real quick. Yeah, this, we're to Montgomery that year. So they got rid of some money there. But then this one, bad. Um, I believe this was their last season in Vanarama National, their only season. Uh, let's see, 30, 31. Yeah. Uh, they've spent some money, made some money, sold Tom Forbes for a million dollars. He's someone, yeah, they came plucked out of the youth system, so not bad. Get a million dollars. Preston. Couple leagues up, not bad at all. Did they bring in? Spent seven fifty for Louis Collins. Who else they got? Um, Cummings plays defensive mid. He's been doing. I'm in for one hundred and fifty. I mean, good players they've got for sure. I do want to check landmarks. Up and around. Anyway, it's still the coach. I can't remember what I did here. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could remember what in the world I did. Why they had no coach for all those years. Um, I think I'm best 11, actually. I do want to see that. Walsh, since retired. This, oh, this last year. All the quits. Connolly, now at Waterford, did well for us until this most current year. Well, let's see who's got some good appearances here. He's got 49 goals. Sergeant, still there, still at the club, only 23 years old. Um, he is someone they can build around. Hope they do. Really hope they do. I did want to see his contract situation. Got him for another year. Decent. Decent. 
how are their financials again so okay less than before i ever recovered that um still the same rivals main value yeah i mean nothing too crazy going on um let's see if we recognize anyone in the staff Andrew Charlie Milgrew, Milgrew. Old Skulls, there we go. 57 year old Skullsy. Been with him since 2025. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. That's why they're doing so well. Barnby, him sounds familiar. Scout, been with us for a few years. Spent some time at Phoenix Rising. Well done um interesting okay let's come back 10 years in and then 15 and 20 after that all right guys we're 10 years in manchester United in league one now so it's taking them 10 years checking back in on them still like they've lost 10 million in the last five years in value the balance is not getting up there um, we do have a new coach these names all look new liam moore who is he Currently, player at Reading goes in to be Sunderland under 23s, per Peterborough, Luton Town, Jamaican National. Not bad. Um, decent League One. Uh, let's see how they've actually. Let's go do this. So let's go. I think this was this season. I look at this one already. This is the one we're going to look at here. Sort this out. Bayern Munich 2-0. That's so cool. Didn't uh, didn't get beat at all. Holy heck. They lost the Carabao Cup first round. Leasing.com trophy. Got decent. Um, made an FA Cup second round replay where they lost to South End. I think, yeah, we did see this one. Yeah, we did. Sorry. Hey. Uh, 32 33 season. I'm a cup win in the first round, second round win. You see, not come two losses, Curve Cup out to Coventry. Uh, FA Cup first round draw, first round replay beat Wigan. Not bad. Second round lose to Bristol Rovers. And that was the end of the cup runs there. Went to the playoffs and did win. So we got promoted in the 32 33 season to League One. Started the season out there. Ooh, it's a lot of red. There's a lot of red. Um, care about Cup go out in the first round. Leasing.com trophy. Don't they don't seem to care about that because they don't play well. Uh, beat filed in the first round. The FA Cup lose to Fleetwood. Um, didn't do so well. First round or um, actually got relegated that year. They were in League One. Back to League Two. Here we go. She scored a goal against Bayern Munich. Decent, decent. Um, playing League Two. Uh, let's see, Carabao Cup losing the first round, getting that out of the way. Doing well in the Leasing.com trophy. Uh, losing the FA Cup to Wigan. They got their revenge from last season. They not make it out. That uh, I don't know how this works. Or they just have, it wasn't that year. It was the next year. Qualified to get out. Northern section, all groups. Second round, lost to Grimsby, but it's not in. Thing. That's so weird. Unless I just missed it. Grimsby Town, I don't. Right there. I just thought that was still okay. Lost second round there. Um, looks like they did well enough to stay in League Two, or maybe even get promoted. Oh, they went up to League One, and here they are now. So going back in their competition history, see they are playing the yo-yo game League Two, League One. So finished fourth in League Two, got promoted. Finished twenty fourth League One, demoted. Finished first League Two, got promoted. Finished twenty second, demoted. Um, third in League Two, got promoted again. 
Um, interesting. Let's check out players here. Um, Hughes is our number one guy. Lots of goals he scored. Been with him from the beginning. Great season last year. Great season. He plays really well League Two. A little bit of a dip in League One. We'll see how he does. Um, John Byrne. I don't think any of these names sound familiar from last time. Let's look and see. Landmarks. What have they done? New president promotion from within. Youth breeding goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. And for history. Oh, this season. Brought in some freeze, let go of some money. Season after that, not too bad. I'm big over here coming. There's a bunch of nothing. Oh, here's the one. This is the. No, this isn't even it. So they sold Nartley 4.5 to Ipswich. Still have them. What did they? they? Had one good season. They cashed out. They went to go play in the championship, which hard to keep. But yeah, not bad. I mean, he's maintaining. So I mean, their youth system is still doing pretty good. Um, next season in. This is the one. Oh, what's that Joseph Green thing? Well, that was way long ago, dummy. <laughs> I'm not smart. Spent some money. Got well, way more. Josh Cole, they sold to Aston Villa. We've been with them a few years. I mean, their youth system is really sustaining them financially, it looks like. Um, I'm just going to come back here. Yeah, let's go to the most current. Yeah, that's there's nothing there. Um, staff, see if Skolzi's still there. Yes, he is. 62 years old, still coaching. God, love him. Let's look at their um, other coach. Yeah, Danny Wright, where did he end up going? Wigan. I mean, not, not a bad move. Where's Wigan at now? League One, so mm, interesting. Of a one for one switch. It, um, T. There we go. They're still National League North. They have not been able to do it. Interesting, you know, just to see how a team would do kind of the same ratings and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's not, you know, blowing away with it, but uh, definitely. Doing a little bit better financially, still not as good as I thought they'd be. Um, do want to look at their facilities? I think it looks to still be good. Excellent. I, thought, I want to say these were superb. I forget which one's better. Um, haven't done anything there. Don't know that we have any. None of these guys are new. Oh, looking for a highlight. Any right? Yeah, he was their coach. Not bad. You know, still selling 16,000 season tickets a season in League One. Interesting. Um, let's go, what are we, 10 years in? Let's go 15 years into the future now. All right, come back here. Um, it was easy for me to click on St. Albans, so let's start with them. They are up in the National League now. Managed to get themselves promoted finally. Um, looks like they did it a couple seasons ago. Uh, got promoted, winning the league. Went, uh, bounced around mid-table, and then had a crap season. Got uh, relegated, and then back to promoted um, in the south from the south to the National League now. Um, so yeah, good for them. Not worth. They're just not doing it financially. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Look at Man United. Oh, oh, you probably already saw that. I did not. 1.3 million in the hole. That is not good. Um, over the ways budget. Something happened. Something happened. Um, let's go here and look. So we left them here. No, did we? 
15, 14. And we left them here. Okay. That's where we left off before, I think. Yeah, the lost crew. Lost to Fluen. Mm hmm. But they didn't do much here in League One. Bad run of form there. End up getting relegated to League Two. Not good. So keep them going with their League Two up, League One down back and forth but here they are in league two starting the season off very poorly um care about cup exit racing.com trophy win 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 when here in the second round here they lose in the third round of middlesbrough under 23s so cup run dies there oh, gutted lost in the semifinals uh even with a draw in the in the second leg couldn't get through so they stay in league two um, what is this? Just failure all over. Made it to second round, lose the hole in the FA Cup. It bounced out in the group play of leasing.com. Just not good. They may, this may be the year. Yeah, they got relegated that year to the National League. Um, still not gangbusters by any means. Um, a little bit better, but still not doing much of anything. Um, made it the second round of the FA Trophy. First round, they lose to Rochdale in the FA Cup. And then the most previous season, still National League, um, bounced out in the fourth qualifying round. Oh, no, they won fourth qualifying round. Made it the first round, drew, beat Burton. They like these replays. Second round, lose to Dagon Red. FA Cup, FA Trophy won the first round. Second round, third round, they go out to Gateshead with a replay. Um, lose in the semi. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, beat all for 10 and then lose to Geisley in the semifinals of the National League playoffs. And they cannot catch a break. Um, landmarks 37 38 season. Legation youth. They were gone to level three, raised to level one, level three, two, one. I mean, I don't see. Oh, they went into administration there. That didn't do well. Mission from here, if we can go in here. We get a point deduction, I wonder. All points deducted. Still wouldn't have made it. Didn't make any difference. Still finished dead last. The year before, they were in fourth place. It's just something else. Got in over their heads with the money. Let's check their transfer history. Okay, so we saw this. They had to sell, they had to sell big. And so Lewis Hughes to Peterborough. Oh, he been around the way a little bit since then. Came up through their system. Just gutted. It sucks. Um can't really bring any guys in. More dropping players. That that name. Again, just shedding salary, shedding some of these guys. Let's see, they sold him for 8000 Well, they loaned him out the year before, Dag and Red. I mean, they're bringing in loans. They're just, they're not doing it. Senior squad, all their top guys are loanies. Ormy, where they got him from, Bournemouth. So their top guy they have that is their own forty seven thousand Sunquist um with him hasn't really done much. I uh, do want to look at their under eighteen, see how they're doing. Nothing really sp anything special there. Under twenty threes. Nothing special there either. Man, they just let it all get away. Um Skolzy's still there. He's going to be retiring soon. 67 years old. Oh, too bad he didn't ever coach. Step up. 
Milgru was there. Milgru was there too. They've had the same staff for a long time. I mean, let's pick another one of these randoms out. 2026. I mean, been there years and years. The staff has been there, but no one else. Who is their chief scout? Parsons. That's the one I picked before. Um, youth development. Been there for a long time. Oh, no, not. No, just this is for shop. So I don't know who had that before. But uh, we looked at this. Youth can't. I mean, just not doing it. Okay, we will go. What is this now? We've done 10 years. This is 15 years. Let's finish up. Go 20 years into the future and uh, bring us home. All right, 20 years into the future. 2047 is the year. Um, I want to start with St. Albans City. Um, recently just got promoted out of the, or not promoted this year, two years ago into the Vanarama National League where they've been, you know, bouncing around and all that. But they were the other team in this. So let's see, you know, compared to how they did, how United did. I do want to check to see um, valued at just over, uh, just under 600,000. Got 267,000 in the bank. Um, playing I believe in their old park they've always played in yeah this is their park I mean doing well facilities wise uh, let's look at United doing this Oof, look at that National League North where we started 20 years down the line back to where we started $38 million club in the National League North, 1.34 in the bank. Um, salaries or payroll is just crap. Wow. Still playing Old Trafford. Um, honestly, I'm surprised at this. Kind of just want to see how that happened. I mean, look at that. They got the League One. Pinnacle right there. It was the best season they had in this save. And uh, pissed it away. So they had a 24th finish there. So yeah, we were in here when we left off National League. Got the National League, finished 12th the first season. Two fifth place finishes in a row. Finished 24th that season. And then down in the north, where mid table at best for them. That's sad. The team I picked, St. Albans, to kind of benchmark them. Finishing the league ahead. Who would have thunk it? Uh, landmarks. Let's look. Um, I don't see any more administration going on. Presidents all over the place. New captains. Liam Kemp, the captain and vice captain. Oh. Two days apart. And then Stearman comes out. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> it's beside himself. He is their captain. Um... That's very interesting. Let's look at the head coach history. By the caretakers did actually wait. Did I don't see roles in there. But yeah, I mean, we had a lot of guys. I mean, there's a whole year where we had two coaches get sacked in one calendar year. They were done interim for 106 days. Unemployed. Yeah, that interim head coach. Interesting. Under 18 head coach all that time and now unemployed, probably retired. What was he doing? What's he doing in real life right now? Is this a coach at Blackpool? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I mean, David Wrench, he's a new gen, played at Brighton, had a long 23 year career as a player, been at United for this first year, so not bad. But definitely not uh, what we're used to. Um, Skulls is, oh my gosh. Dude's in his 72 years old. Skullsy. Still, still coaching. Still coaching. I mean, yeah, some of these names are still there. The youth development, he's still there. He was one that just started the year before. Mulgrew. Still the GM. 
in forever. I feel like they're not, but they maybe need to change some things. Maybe need to make some changes. I mean, Adam Davies, top physio, been there forever. It's interesting. Um, seriously, have they done? I mean, look at this. This is an interesting adventure here. I am shocked. The, have they done any cups? Have they cup from yet? Care about cup? No. Couple. A trophy. I don't think I saw that in 2026 won the FA trophy. Well done. Not a lot of silverware. Not a lot of silverware. Um, go back here and see. I mean, just oh, look at that run of red. That's when they got demoted to the north. Still didn't play that well. I mean, that's just gutted. Gutted for sure. Just barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. Still playing Bayern Munich. Okay, now, um, I mean, interesting little thing. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys want the database, it's down below. I'll link it down there just for fun. Um, see if you guys can do better than uh, the computer did um, with it. See if you can bring back United to glory. Um, I'd be curious to see if you guys uh, do take that on, how it ends up. Um, this. Well, no one knew in these lists. Any right that head coach? That's hilarious. We do have a new player showing up here. Prince Hamad Akode. 20 years old, already in the favorites list. What has he done? Uh, okay. He's had two good seasons. Cool. Not anything I'd be too impressed with. Interesting. Um, lastly, let's see their history, transfer history. Not a lot looks like it happening. They're just kind of loaning, bringing in freeze. Really selling anybody. Get some couple of big sales here. This someone probably came through their youth system, got it for six, and sold two years later for five million. I mean, it's good. Their youth system is still doing it. Um, let's while we're here. Let's check out and see how the Premier League has done in these 20 years. Um, past winners. Let's look real quick. I mean, this is more than 20 years. This is uh, lots of years. I can't even math that hard. But City looked to be the team to beat without United in the way. All the fans going to the City games. We got City, or Liverpool, City, Chelsea, Liverpool, City, Chelsea. I mean, no one really coming up close. Tottenham coming in second last season. That's yeah, the big dogs. Wolves having a show in there. Watford having a good couple seasons. Um, they're still in the Premier League. Not bad. Not bad, Watford. Um, let's look at FA Cup. Who's been winning that? Last winners. Big dogs. Southampton getting in there. Good. Everton getting one. Tottenham getting one. Two. Everton. I think two FA Cups, not bad. Um, look, Champions League, Champions Cup. Who's winning that? Paris SG getting some wins. I mean, there's no one in Atletico Madrid. Eh. I mean, these are all good, good teams. Ah, forgot. I did update this. I think after. Yeah, so this is Zebra. Um, World Cup. Or let's say Euro. Let's do that. Um, what's it called? You get there. Uh, group stage. Euro Cup. Yeah, what happened to them? Oh, wow. West Ham getting a couple wins in there. Nice. I'd see a win in it. 
some good, I, I like the mix of teams here. Porto, Inter, Leicester, Watford, Watford. I like seeing West Ham, Watford up in there. Good. Oh my, getting in there, fixing their stuff. Interesting. Real Madrid winning the Euro Cup. Hmm. Uh, let's go look at the World Cup. See how that has happened. Defending champ England. You see Brazil, England, Portugal, Ukraine, Colombia. Wow. Interesting ones for sure. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm going to drop this save to start this in 2027 season, I think it was. Um, you guys want to play with it? Love to hear about it. But let's end it there. All right, guys, thank you so much. That was my experiment, um, yet untitled and dismantling Man U, seeing how they would do compared to a regular um, Banner and National League team at the time. Ended up finishing one league below St. Albans City, so went way different than I thought they would. I thought their youth system would still propel them up, and they'd end up in the Premier League later. Maybe if I would have continued on, but I'm not really thinking so. Um, that's kind of why I ended it uh, 20 years. Um, but anyhow, I you know, appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I've got two videos up there in the corner to go check out as well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're washing your hands. Hope you're staying home. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.